Hello and welcome to this Slippy Limpets video. Today we've come out to try and catch a pollock. I haven't caught a pollock in, well I've caught one, I think one decent one anyway from the shore. Um, this year, uh, coronavirus has obviously got in the way but also I think a lot of the marks that I fish are becoming more and more popular which is a good thing. Unfortunately it means that I don't think there's as many fish about. So I've got a mark that I know that's seldom fished. It's only really fishable for two hours either side of low tide and that's on a big tide which it is pretty big today. That's why I'm talking quickly <laughs> and that's why I'm in a bit of a hurry because it's, it's about 20 past nine. The tide, tide, low tide at about quarter past ten so I've got about until 12 o'clock before I have to leave. Today I'm going to start with three and a half inch slider shad with a weedless hook and a 14 gram Cheberuska. It's pretty breezy but I know where the fish are or where I've had them in the past so hopefully uh, this setup should do me. But because we're co constrained by time here with an incoming tide and as I say time and tide wait for no man so uh, I'm going to get to it and get fishing and hopefully get one on the shore pretty shortly. I've just cast that distance there. I know I've just said there's a piece of structure in front of us, but I'll lock my drag down and hopefully be able to work the fish over the top of that structure and if I do get one. It's quite windy, so uh, it's pretty difficult to keep in touch with the lure. Let's check that I have got my drag locked down. Yep. Oh, fish on. Must be a cod because it's not biting. In fact, it must be a weed. This is weird. Oh no, there we go. It's a bit of a fight. Just a little one, whatever it is. Hey! Well, been here, what, five minutes? And to be honest, I didn't even feel this little guy hit. No scrap in him, but look at the colours on that. Awesome. Must have hit it on the drop. He's just got no life in him. So that's one down. Hopefully they're just going to get bigger from now on, but... Uh... Thankfully the blank's off and there's a fish on the board. These little slider lures are uh, a dynamite like. Oh, that's a fish on the drop. Slightly better one. Get up over that weed. And 
Ay, itong karo na na Well, that was the next cast. Sorry, second cast after that last fish. And they're getting bigger. Again, lovely colours on that. really fight with this. I want it out of the weed. A little codlin. Woo! God, look at the colour on that. Ho -ho. He's almost a luminous, this guy. Look at that. Look how orange that is. Awesome. There's a hook out. Another little show there. Oh, look at that colour. Hey. He just hit it on the drop there. I decided to try and fish in amongst the, uh, the gully. But funnily, go off like a rocket. Yeah, I was just casting. There's a, as I said, there's structure there and it opens out into this gully. So I decided to bring it in through the gully and a uh, beautiful little codlin sitting in there. It's not going too badly so far. So I've uh, been casting around here for about 20 minutes, half an hour. I've had three fish. Uh, it's been pretty good, but um, there's another little rock I know of that uh, I want to fish um, before the tide covers it over uh, or makes it impossible to get to. So. Uh, Gonna uh, go and fish up for another half hour or so and then come back and hopefully by that time the tide will start pushing in and uh, there'll be some current running through here and maybe the bigger fish lurking around so let's go and see what this other place will wear uh, if it throws anything up. So I've just moved around the corner a little bit. There's a really good gully here, it looks brilliant. Uh, we're gonna give us a shot for 20 minutes or half an hour or so. Uh, I'd love to catch a ras, but I'm going to focus on me pollock for now because I uh, just want to want to catch a good one, you know. I'm going to move back round to the other side, there's nothing going on here and uh, there's the biggest seal I've ever seen he was in the round so uh, yeah, time for another move So I've just moved round to the first spot uh, now that it's half ten, the tide's definitely coming in so uh, going to give a few casts here 
see if there's any bigger fish lurking around. Seal's still cruising around. He is a big fella. Jesus. Oh, that's in the opposite direction. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a good one. Took it on the retrieve. Oh, it's got him so buried in the kelp. try and muscle them through. I don't actually think he's still there but That was a good fish. Took it when I was retrieving my lure and uh, just it took me by surprise actually and went straight into the kelp right in front of us. I just had to snap it up. Well, I tried to pull it out but it snapped off. So uh, I'm going to retie a leader and scrounge through my bag and hopefully I can find another one of those lures. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, what's the time now? quarter 11 so I've got another hour maybe before I have to leave so let's get going Species, but that was a long coolie. He took that just where the uh, the pollock were before. Look at the size of that. It's not my biggest, but it's, it's definitely really long. Let's get him back. See how quickly the tide's coming in. That's not even wave, that's just water rushing into this big rock pool. Time to go. Thank you. 
Well, I'm down on the second mark of the day. I've just walked, I don't know, a couple of miles or so and then uh, climbed down another cliff. Uh, it's lush down here, like, I mean, there's a bit of a breeze blowing around the corner, but uh, I can relax, you know, I'm not worried about the tide cutting me off or anything like that. So uh, I'm um, just about to retie the leader onto my LRF rod and uh, start chucking a little metal around. Um, typically I've just arrived and I've just seen a massive seal. I think they're probably following us today, but uh, never mind. Caught a few fish this morning and uh, let's see if, uh, if I can hopefully get something on the LRF rod today or this afternoon. Actually, just turned the camera off and uh, got shot on. Well, they do say it is lucky, so uh, fingers crossed. It's, uh, it is lucky oh, and a butterfly's just landed on me foot as well. Get this shit cleaned off my arm and then, uh, then I'll get cracking. <laughs> now that is the smallest codlin I have ever caught. Look at that. Oh, what a little beauty that is. Well, I think that's the smallest codlin I've ever seen. Um, I've had bigger ones out of a rock pool. Um, I mean, uh, that's my, uh, my 8 gram uh, Seeker, so it's the same size as my thumb pretty much. I didn't even feel it hit, it just, uh, just kind of had a weight on the end of it. Slightly bigger than the last fish. Nice little coolie there. Orange spots on again. And yeah, it took on a really fast retrieve. Just get a moon hook and sent back. Those savage gear lures are, uh, are lethal for all types of fish. It's just a shame they stopped making them. I've seen that they do a line through version now, so maybe I'll have to give that a shot next. But uh, yeah, it's great fun. I'm thinking the wind's a bit heavy, but I've got a tiny little soft plastic I want to try and just bump it along the edge here. Got a, had a couple of fish at this mark now, so uh, yeah, let's give it a go. Right, I've gone and got myself a little selection of uh, lures and jigs here. So I thought while I was uh, down here, got this little platform that I can easily access the water at. Got myself a little selection of uh, random uh, lures and jigs. 
Oh, good tail there, you go to your uh, 5G uh, head. Little tiny thing there. See what else I can pull up. Hopefully, one of these might actually be good for a ras. There was a fish there. It wasn't. I was just pulling through some weed. Oh, that's a fish! Hey! Woo. Oh, Pollock! Oh, look at the colours on that. Oh, yes! So the random blue lure works. Check that out. Look at the colours on that. That is orange. It's not brown like a normal pollock. Yes! So it's a Gary Yamamoto um, crappy lure, I believe. It's uh, salty just like a Senko. Um, but yeah, just like a little little bite there on a on a two gram, three gram jig head. Excellent. I put up such a good scrap on this light rod. Wind's coming round to the east now, it's blowing straight into this cave and it looks nice and warm I guess but uh actually getting a bit chilly. I wonder if my top's dry yet from uh washing the bird crap off it. Oh, <laughs> oh a slightly bigger one this time. Oh, look at it taking drag. Oh, it's going for the kelp. Out of there. It's a lively one. 
don't often get more than two uh, two crashes from a pollock. This is where that long rod comes into play. Oh yeah, look at that. It's really good for uh, keeping the fish away from the structure it's so desperately, desperately trying to go into. You know, I think that's the biggest pollock I've had all year from the shore on the LRF. Look at that! <laughs> wow! Took it right on my feet. Had these things in my bag for years and never used them. Oh, yes! Oh. Must be at least four pounds there. Ho ho! And away it goes. What? Ho 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 ho! Found the right bait. And they're just down there. As soon as I speed and they're speeding the winding, they just keep coming to attack. So I've had the smallest coddlin, then a small pollock. Sorry, yeah, and then a coolie, and then another pollock, which was about a pound and a half, and then that monster. This one's not as big. Three casks with a random lure and uh, three pollock. There we go. Four and four, maybe. Just run out of SD space on the uh, on the chest cam, so I almost don't want to catch another fish until that's ready. So I can get another uh, SD card in there. But being the type of fisherman I am, I can't waste a good catch. <laughs> there, I thought I was asking too much. Right, I'm gonna go and get another SD card in here and uh, hopefully the fish will reset and uh, I can get the... I, I don't actually need a bigger one but that that was meant, I would like a bigger one. What a scrap! So uh, just while I was up 
I've got a new SD card I thought I'd bring down the baits for you. Here they are, they're called uh, a Yamamoto, a, y a Yamamino. So it's a little uh, little minnow imitation and they're meant for freshwater species in America. Um, they're made by, like I say, Gary Yamamoto, who, uh, for those who know, makes Senkos, which are like a salt build bait and weighty. So it doesn't actually say the weight of these, but they're about two or three grams and it's because they're salty, they've got a bit of a neutral density in them. Uh, so it's quite a slow sink rate, but I uh, can't actually remember where I bought these from, but it was years ago. Might have been from uh, my favourite old LRF shop, which was uh, Jack's LRF, which unfortunately now is closed. Uh, he used to bring a lot of American baits in, and uh, yeah, looks like these are the ones. So I'm going to call it a day. It's four o'clock. I've been fishing for eight hours, pretty much, with including moving marks and things. Uh, I've walked a few miles, but what a day. Uh, it's a little bit gutting that I lost that good fish this morning. I think that would probably been the biggest of the day if I'd managed to land it, but uh, that's just how fishing is, I guess. Uh, totally took us by surprise, but uh, catching those fish on the LRF rod earlier made up for it, for sure. That, uh, that nice, what, four or five pounds, maybe? really good fight on the uh, on the light tackle it's got five pound braid so it's um, yeah it's uh, you know pull and drag and all sorts love it gonna uh, yeah pack up all my stuff because it's scattered all over the place and uh, I'm walking a couple of miles back to the car and uh, head home and probably have a beer to be honest feel a little dehydrated and that's one of my favorite ways to hydrate so uh, well if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe please do that would be great hit the notification button on the uh the little bell and then you'll know when my videos come out and uh you can keep up to date with what we're up to on the channel um don't forget to tell your friends about it if you haven't already and share it out well, that's enough of the whoring let's, let's do one okay until the next video tight lines <laughs>